Hello everyone, and welcome back for to my Vault Hunter series. Alright, since last time, let me show you what I have done. Hasn't been much. I did manage to get another six Vault Rocks. Like I said, it wasn't much. And as you can see, I got a few things in my hand. I don't even remember what that needed to go on. What was going to go on the sword. Okay. So I just need levels. Which is cool, because we're going to do a little adventuring today. Go out into the wide, wide world. And we are also going to start working on a zombie I mean, the spawner that I found earlier, because it will help experience-wise. So let me get my bed. Now, there's one thing that I forgot that's really, really cool about this game and the Elytra. Usually with the Elytra, you need... Hang on. You would need, um, rockets. Well, uh, that is not necessarily true in this game. And I'll show you. I think this may be. What I'm looking for. Alright, so. So you can use dash to start flying. That's pretty awesome, if I may say so myself. Is this a jungle? Mmm, this dark oak. No, it's not. It's just... Oh, but that is bamboo. That is exactly what I needed. And there's a pillager outpost. So let me go ahead and get all this bamboo. fly back and get started on the the uh, spawner and that's kind of pretty and some more bamboo since it's here I will take it all right I think that's enough so, to the home we go. Well, that was a lot simpler than I thought it would be.
Alright, so let's plant a few bamboo out here real quick. Do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be enough, and we'll just let that grow for a while. Because I think this may be all the bamboo I need for the next crystal. So let's see. And that was. So for now, I'll just set this here. Take off my elytra. Alright, so we are going to come down here. Let me see what the... Okay, negative 76, get up here first. Okay, so let me go ahead and do one thing. Let's delete that one. Let's also go ahead and delete that one. Alright, so... Okay, negative 76 and 95. So come back. Okay, I see it on my map now. And of course I don't have any I gotta go get torches. A bit of a lag spike. But yeah, the skeleton spawner isn't gonna be anything fancy or anything like that. It's just going to be a skeleton spawner. I'm just going to turn all these sticks into torches because it's like I'm always losing torches so all right so let's try this again there's two reasons why I want this spotter the first one being that it will help
um, it will help keep everything mended that can be mended. The second reason is, oh, just because I, uh, I want to. Alright, so let's get these out of here. As you can see, I've done a little bit of work to it. Okay, so all the walls have torches, that's not what I want to do. So now the next thing I need to do is go down five levels. So one, two, three, four, five. So what I'll probably do is time lapse this part, guys, so I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so guys, I'm back, and I've got to get another bucket of water. So let me run upstairs real quick, and I think I'm going to make an infinite source. I also need to see if I have something else. I might need to go do some more, oh, excuse me, hunting before I finish this up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to do some more hunting. So let me get another bucket of water. What I could do... Eh, let's finish the infrastructure first. And then we'll, we'll do everything else. So I believe the next step is going to be put a, a bucket of water here. Let me actually, now let's just go ahead and do it. And then we're going to come down, we're going to clear all this out. I think we may need to actually go down one here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then here. 
will be a specific block. All right, so so far so good. So for right now, I do need to go make another trip out into the wide, wide world. So what we will do, we will time lapse me looking for some kelp. So I will be back in a minute, guys. See ya. Guys, what I'm looking for now is maybe a, uh, one of the monuments, underwater monuments. So maybe I can go ahead and knock out that prismarine, but I'm not having a lot of luck. But I did get the kelp that I needed for the farm. So, we might just head back in just a second. I really need to get kind of high because my dashes doesn't have a whole bunch of levels on it yet. So it's a little slow to refill. get into the I may actually sleep and while I'm here let me go ahead and refill this grab that let's point into the general direction of home And hopefully away we go. And maybe on the way I'll be able to see an un underwater monument or something. But if not, that's cool too.
Yeah, when I first got the elytra, I forgot all about the ability to use dash to fly as opposed to making rockets. So we're about halfway there. And my elytra's holding up pretty well. But I will say this, this is a lot easier. So all right guys, let's get back to the base. We should be getting really close. Yep, there it is. As you can see, the bamboo's already growing. Alright. Now, hopefully, I also managed to remember to get some soul sand, too. So, let's see. And it would appear that I did not get soul sand. So, now we need to make a trip into the nether. Do I have another bucket? I thought at one time I did. I do. I have two more buckets. So let's go ahead and fill both of those up with water, and then we're going to go to the nether, get some soul sand. So let me drop off a few more things so I don't lose them while I'm in the nether. So guys, let me come back in just a minute when I find some soul sand, okay? I'll be back. Well guys, I am back, and as you can see, I made it back to the base. So, let's get some kelp. I did finally find some soul sand. Grab my bucket some water. And let's head back down here. We're going to do a little bit more work and then... It will be time, or then we'll finish it up a little bit later. 
And we're gonna finish it this episode. It's just not gonna be like right this instant. Alright. So. Now what do I need to do? Let's start with this right here. Um. Let's actually go ahead and do... This right here. Okay, great. Flows all the way to there. Perfect. Here, how far did I go? Ay, ay, ay. Say one, two. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so from here we want 22 blocks up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two. And then from here, we're going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six. So from here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, 
right, so we will need to put a sign there. So this is our collection point. So let's And it's not going to be anything pretty. It's just going to be a mob farm. Because that's all we need. You know what I probably need to do? I probably need to make it go towards the spawner a little bit. Okay, so there's the spawner. So that wall spawner. So let's go one. Wrong thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. gives me a few spaces all the way around. There we go. Alright, let's go back up and get some signs. I 
Oh, before I do that, let me go ahead and get... Let me do this one thing first. Oop. Well, no, let me go ahead and get the signs. Sounds okay. So let's get a few, few of that. And let's make one more set just to be sure. And that should be enough. So let me drop off some things. That should be enough for now. Slabs. So now we want a signage here and some signage there, there, and there. And then at this point. Bubble Vader. And then we are, of course, going to want a sign here or Maybe there. And you. Alright, so now we're going to do that. And I do not have a crafting table. Of course not. Why would I have what I need? So now let me figure out how to get out of this place. And what do we need? We need some slabs and then I think we'll be able to get rid of all the lighting and be done. I think the only time we're going to have trouble finding is that.
And it looks like I might have to get a few more slabs, but I can do that later. For now, let's just get this thing up and running, and then we will go from there. Alright, so for right now, we're going to grab all the torches out of here. Alright, so definitely need to get some footage. Alright, just a couple more torches. Should be able to seal this thing up. I actually need fence gates. So anyway, that will be something that we try to fix in the next episode. We do have a spawner, and it will eventually get stuff down there. Like I said, I think the issue is, I probably should have, I'm not sure what I should have used. But anyway, guys, for right now, that's going to be it. I hope you liked this episode, and if you did... Please join me for the next one, and I will see you in the next one, guys. And in between this episode and next, I will fix this spawner and get it up and running. And then uh, we'll start working on collecting stuff for the next soul shard, or for the next vault gem. Alright, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.